You are about to be witness to Victorian villains from the past, many of them mere children, brought before a police court. Regular viewers of my channel will know that I like to present you content that reflects the lives of everyday people from days gone by, including first-hand accounts and genuine conversations. In this video, you will learn about convicted criminals in Newcastle, England, photographed between 1871 and 1873, sentenced to hard labour or incarceration as punishment in Newcastle City Jail. Thanks to police identification records and a description of their charges, we can understand the difficult lives that led to wrongdoing. What's more remarkable about these accounts is that the photographs of the accused provide a connection to the nefarious activities described in a way more difficult to convey by text alone. These are the criminal faces from the past. Before we move on, please consider clicking the subscribe button for more content like this. If you find this video interesting, I would really appreciate it if you could give it a thumbs up and share it widely with friends and family. Please check out the description to see how you can support the channel and the content we make. Jane Farrell, 12 years of age and 4 feet 2 inches tall. Jane Farrell of Newcastle was convicted of stealing two boots and sentenced to 10 days hard labour. James Jobling, 26 years of age and 5 feet 4 inches tall. James Jobling of Newcastle was convicted for the offence of unlawfully wounding. James Davitt, 18 years of age and 5 feet 8 inches tall. James Davitt of Ireland was convicted of obtaining money by false pretense and sentenced to six weeks in prison. William Harrison, 51 years of age and 5 feet 7 inches tall. William Harrison of Durham, a porter by trade, was convicted of obtaining oats by false pretense and sentenced in 1872 to 12 months in Newcastle City Jail. James Donnelly, 16 years of age and 5 feet tall. James Donnelly, also known as James Darley, of Shotley Bridge, a labourer by trade, was convicted of stealing some shirts. James had already been in and out of prison and on this occasion was sentenced to two months. John Reed, 15 years of age and 4 feet 11 inches tall. John Reed of Gateshead, a glassmaker by trade, was convicted of stealing money in 1873 and sentenced to 14 days hard labour. John Roman, 64 years of age and 5 feet 7 inches tall. John Roman, from Germany, a tailor by trade, was convicted of stealing clothes in 1873 and sentenced to 14 days hard labour. Thomas Watson, 40 years of age, and five feet six inches tall, Thomas Watson of Newcastle, a shoemaker by trade, was convicted of stealing some boots in 1873 and sentenced to two months in prison. Mary Ann Ross, 34 years of age and five feet two inches tall, Mary Ann Ross of Edinburgh, who worked as a prostitute, was convicted of theft many times and on this occasion was sentenced to six months in Newcastle City Jail. Thomas Tweedy, 20 years of age and 5 feet 4 inches tall. Thomas Tweedy of Newcastle, a labourer by trade, was found guilty of stealing money on the 26th of December 1872 and sentenced to four months hard labour in Newcastle City Jail. Thomas had four previous convictions listed on his particulars sheet covering the period 1863 to 1872 including a conviction in 1869 for stealing a toilet cover. Agnes Stewart, 28 years of age and 5 feet 3 inches tall. Agnes Stewart of Edinburgh, married, was convicted for the crime of stealing money. Mary Costella, 27 years of age and 5 feet 1 inches tall. Mary Costella of Shotley Bridge, married, was convicted of stealing of money from a person, sentenced to 15 months in Newcastle City Jail. Mary Catherine Doherty, 14 years of age and 4 feet 9 inches tall. Mary Catherine Doherty, of Newcastle, was convicted of stealing iron, along with her accomplices Mary Hinnigan, Ellen Woodman and Rosanna Watson, sentenced to seven days hard labour. Ellen Woodman, 11 years of age and 4 feet 3 inches tall. Ellen Woodman, of Durham, 
was convicted of stealing iron when caught with Mary Catherine Doherty, Rosanna Watson and Mary Hennigan, sentenced to seven days hard labour. Mary Hennigan, 13 years of age and five feet and a half inches tall, Mary Hennigan of Newcastle was caught stealing iron along with Mary Catherine Doherty, Ellen Woodman and Rosanna Watson, sentenced to seven days hard labour. Rosanna Watson, 13 years of age and 4 feet 11 inches tall. Rosanna Watson, of Durham, was caught stealing iron, along with Mary Catherine Doherty, Ellen Woodman and Mary Hennigan, sentenced to seven days hard labour. Henry Leonard Stevenson, 12 years of age and 4 feet 5 inches tall. Henry Leonard Stevenson, of Castle Eden, was convicted of breaking into houses in 1873 and sentenced to two months in prison. Patrick O'Neill, 19 years of age and 5 feet 2 inches tall. Patrick O'Neill of Newcastle, a shoe black by trade, was caught after burgling a house in Higham Place, Newcastle, the home of Joshua Inns Bagnell, owner of the Oxford Music Hall, known as Balmbras. A bottle of half-full sherry and two jam pots taken from the house were found on him. O'Neill was convicted of breaking into houses and spent 18 months in Newcastle City Jail. Anne Burns, 18 years of age and 4 feet 11 and a half inches tall. Anne Burns, of Newcastle, was convicted of stealing a waistcoat and sentenced to one month imprisonment. Margaret McCann, 24 years of age and 5 feet 1 and a half inches tall. Margaret McCann, of Newcastle, a hawker by trade, was convicted of stealing money from a person and sentenced to six months in Newcastle City Jail. James Lockley, 22 years of age and 5 feet 7 and a half inches tall. James Loxley, of Newcastle, a stoker by trade, was convicted of stealing money from a person and sentenced to six months imprisonment. Catherine Kelly, 17 years of age and 5 feet 1 inches tall. Catherine Kelly, of Nottingham, was found guilty of stealing bed linen and sentenced to three months at Newcastle City Jail. Isabella Dodds 17 years of age and 4 feet 9 inches tall, Isabella Dodds of Liverpool, a servant by trade, was convicted of stealing a gold watch and sentenced to four months at Newcastle City Jail. Isabella Smith, 60 years of age and 5 feet and a quarter inches tall, Isabella Smith of Elsdon, a charwoman, part-time cleaner, by trade, was convicted of stealing poultry and sentenced to six weeks at Newcastle City Jail. Henry Miller, 14 years of age and 4 feet 5 inches tall. Henry Miller of Berwick, a confectioner by trade, was charged with theft of clothing and sentenced to 14 days hard labour for his crime. Joshua Robson, 19 years of age and 5 feet 1 inches tall. Joshua Robson of Newcastle, a joiner by trade, was convicted for theft of money and sentenced to six months incarceration in Newcastle City Jail. Sabina Forbes, 32 years of age and 5 feet 5 inches tall. Sabina Forbes, of Newcastle, married, was convicted for theft of money and sentenced to six months in Newcastle City Jail for her crime. David Barron, 19 years of age and 5 feet 11 inches tall. David Barron, of Newcastle, a cabinet maker by trade, was convicted of stealing champagne with his accomplice, William Hill, sentenced to six months imprisonment. William Hill, 28 years of age and 5 feet 6 inches tall. William Hill, of Newcastle, a joiner by trade, was convicted of stealing champagne along with David Barron and sentenced to six months in prison. Michael Clement Fisher, 13 years of age and 4 feet 9 inches tall. Michael Clement Fisher, of West Hartlepool, was charged with breaking into houses with his accomplice, Henry Leonard Stevenson, sentenced to two months in prison. Robert Bolam, 20 years of age and 5 feet 7 inches tall. Robert Bolam, of Gateshead, a labourer by trade, was convicted of stealing clothes along with William Salmon and Thomas Garrity, sentenced to six months imprisonment. William Salmon, 18 years of age and 5 feet 5 inches tall. William Salmon, of Dumfries, a puddler by trade, worked in iron manufacture, was convicted of stealing clothes along with Robert Bolam and Thomas Garrity, sentenced to six months imprisonment. Thomas Garrity, 
18 years of age and 5 feet tall, Thomas Garrity of Gateshead, a labourer by trade, was convicted of stealing clothes along with Robert Bolam and William Salmon, sentenced to six months imprisonment. Edward Chevlin, 32 years of age and 5 feet 5 inches tall, Edward Chevlin from Ireland, a labourer by trade, was convicted of stealing a coat and sentenced to six months in prison. Robert Charlton, 16 years of age and 4 feet 11 inches tall, Robert Charlton of Newcastle, a labourer by trade, was convicted of stealing two pairs of boots and imprisoned for four months. George Lamb, 17 years of age and 5 feet 4 inches tall, George Lamb of Newcastle, a cartman by trade, was convicted of stealing money as an accomplice of the Duffy brothers and sentenced to four months in prison. Peter Duffy, 20 years of age and 5 feet 4 inches tall, Peter Duffy of Newcastle, a bolt maker by trade, was convicted for assault and theft on another person along with his brother, John Duffy, and accomplice, George Lamb, sentenced to six months imprisonment in Newcastle City Jail. John Duffy, 16 years of age and 5 feet 2 and a half inches tall. John Duffy of Newcastle, a labourer by trade, was found guilty of assault and theft along with his brother, Peter Duffy, and accomplice, George Lamb, sentenced to six months imprisonment in Newcastle City Jail. William Bell, 32 years of age and 5 feet 5 and 3 quarters tall. William Bell of Newcastle, a blacksmith by trade, was found guilty of stealing some beef and sentenced to imprisonment in Newcastle Jail. William Badger, 20 years of age and 5 feet tall. William Badger of Newcastle, a shoemaker by trade, was convicted of stealing a watch in 1872 and sentenced to six months in Newcastle City Jail. George Bell, 24 years of age and 5 feet 4 and a half inches tall. George Bell of Hexham, a striker, assistant to a blacksmith, by trade, was found guilty of stealing a watch in 1873 and sentenced to two months in Newcastle City Jail. Thomas Smith, 32 years of age and 5 feet 5 and a quarter inches tall. Thomas Smith, of New York, a shoemaker by trade, was convicted of defrauding a gentleman in 1873, along with James Davitt and William Cotter, sentenced to three months in Newcastle City Jail. Anne Wood, 30 years of age and 5 feet 3 and a half inches tall. Anne Wood, of Cramlington, married, was convicted of stealing money and sentenced to two months imprisonment. William Smith, 25 years of age and 5 feet 3 inches tall. William Smith, of Sheffield, a printer by trade, was found guilty of stealing money and some scales and was sentenced to two months in Newcastle City Jail. Mary Erskine Christie, 20 years of age and 5 feet 4 inches tall. Mary Erskine Christie, of Newcastle, was convicted of thieving money from a person in 1873 and sentenced to six months in Newcastle City Jail. George Robb, 19 years of age and 5 feet 5 inches tall. George Robb, from Scotland, a joiner by trade, was found guilty of stealing money and sentenced to six months in Newcastle City Jail.